Hello everyone and welcome back to Equilinox where I am watching the saga of a very sad flower tree. This is the very first flower tree we have ever had. We just evolved this little thing from a palm tree and it's pretty miserable. At first I plunked it down in a tropical biome but that was too low. Flower trees it turns out are very fussy and they really really prefer to be between 16 and 60 meters and so I plucked it up and I threw it down inside of Tata's jungle and it became even more miserable because it doesn't like jungles. It likes either tropical or grassland areas. So I need to save this poor thing. I know it's a kind of a waste of DP, but I need to find somewhere between 16 and 60 meters where a flower tree can be happy and move it before it dies. So when I brought my attention back over here, I noticed that a lot of our land seems to be losing its grip. We really don't seem to have a very strong woodland foothold over here. And as for grassland, like I really don't find any grassland at the moment. There's some grassland over here that I think the flowering tree might like, but otherwise I'm kind of amazed. Like there's some grassland right up here that I think the flowering tree might really be happy with. But otherwise, it seems as we have been so distracted cultivating this tiny, literally, corner of the world, the rest of the world needs our attention too. So, I've got a couple projects in mind for the day. First of which is to save this flower tree. Yes, even though it's ridiculously expensive, this specific tree, because it's our very, very first one. And I can at least put it in the... There we go. The foothills of our new jungle biome that I am working on so that we can transform this into hopefully Tata's mountain. So like the, the mountain of the trickster god here in the foothills of the Yukir mountain range where all of the snow comes down. That would make me very happy. Now, are you going to be very happy? Look at how happy this flower tree is now. Now it is 100% content and hopefully going to do a great job doing its thing. I do need to remove the grassland from up here though. You can all back off. This is going to belong to the jungle area. Thank you very much. Uh, and now the flower tree, I really wanted to have it live because it, oh, look how beautiful it is. Oh, I love it. It can create orange trees if we can give it a tropical place to go. And it can also create mango trees if it has a hive nearby. So I want to try to get mango trees for sure. That is definitely on my list of things to do. But I also want to come back and kind of pay attention to some of the land that we have neglected over here. Just a teeny bit because we have a lot of special things that I worry might die off without attention. Like over here, this should all be a really like strong woodland and it hardly has any woodland at all. So I wanna try to turn it into a really strong woodland and have our unique nuts not die off, our unique oak trees still be pretty happy. Um, so let's go ahead and see what will spread a woodland really well. Sycamores and snapdragons. Do they have anything they really like? Snapdragons prefer to be at lower altitude. So we can put a few of those down. There we go. And now that we're finally starting to make some more, there we go, some more DP, it looks like we're a little more successful with this. Uh, let's see, and elm trees really like to be below a certain altitude. Oh, look at that. Wow, they really help to establish things. Nice, all right, come on. Come on, you're going to help to make a really happy, uh, altitude is still good. Altitude's still good. There we go. Yeah, the elm trees are going to help to spread this as well. We did have like a place where I just wanted to have nothing but potatoes and boars. And I think our, our, yeah, look, our boars actually died out. <laughs> So we have all of these potatoes that nobody is digging up because the boars were not able to hold on to the fact that I think the sycamores came in and just like cleared them out. So we might try to turn this back into like a little potato patch. Uh, that might take a little bit of effort though. But let's just get the woodland. Oh, poppies. <gasps> we need to make poppies in order to make bees. This may be about to become a tale of bees for sure. Uh, let's get some oregano spread over here. Let's see, oregano likes to be next to trees, I re if I remember correctly. There we go, hopefully that will keep nice and established. And sycamore trees, 
like to be next to herbs, so now they'll be happy because there's a little bit of oregano sprinkled in, and they like to be a little bit lower. There, that should stabilize this biome. I was getting a little concerned for it. <gasps> look at all of our trout! Yes, look at this! We have so many little purple trout here. We have got my very special lily pad starting to spread over here. That just tickles me pink. Speaking of pink, we should evolve the redfish pretty soon, but we'll focus on that in a bit. But all right, so we've got this kind of neatly established. Um, and yeah, it looks like we still do have our unique mutation of the wild boar that I think we turned beige in honor of Spud. Yeah, we turned him beige in honor of Spud a while ago. So we still do have the wild boar. Oh, we do have wild boar. Wait, then, oh, the warthogs died off. <laughs> That's who I'm thinking about. The warthogs are the ones who died off. And there's a whole bunch of untouched potatoes? Where'd my potatoes go? I think my potatoes died off. No, there's just like a few. But the potatoes are just clinging to life because, well, they actually like woodland and forest. They spread forest biome. Okay, I think I just need to like move one of these adorable pigus up a little bit. And then maybe it'll work on my potatoes up here. There you go, buddy. Are you gonna be happy over here? You don't really like this environment. What are your two like species? Oh look, but it dug up the potatoes. That's what I was hoping for. It likes stones and cedar. There's literally, oh, that's a rock. <laughs> They're so fussy. All right, look, here's some stones. And then where's cedar? Let me just go ahead and grab a cedar to make this a happy. Happy little guy. But all right, I already got completely distracted as always happens because I get really into this. <laughs> and before I know it, I'm doing the wrong things. Uh, there's my oak trees. Where the heck is my cedar? Oh yeah, and the birch trees are supposed to evolve into something too. All right, as soon as I find a cedar tree, I'm gonna put it down and walk away. Any second now. Where the heck? The heck -a doodle Lives in grassland. Juniper. Cedar, there we go. And it likes lower altitude. All right, I'll put it right there. And now you should be a little happier. Yeah, now it's a little happier. I just wanted somebody to dig up the potatoes for the guinea pigs. All right, anyway, now that I have been thoroughly distracted once more, how is our flowering tree doing? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm very happy to see that it is doing well. So, what to work on next? Mushroom mastery, perhaps? Uh, oh dear. Oh, we don't have any deer yet. Beavering away. That's right. Oh gosh. And I haven't even started a lush biome. Oh my goodness. And we still have, oh my gosh. We still have pike and they could actually live in river biomes and hunt smaller fish. The other fish will try to flee and hide, but it will unlock. Okay. So there's a lot of things we could do next. Um, when it comes to getting a lot of DP, insects are pretty darn harmless. In fact, I think I can go ahead and add in a butterfly over here. Maybe, let me see. Butterfly, would you adjust to this? You love grassland, guess what? Yes, okay, so we can have butterflies over here. And yes, that will increase the production of any trees that produce fruit, which is exciting. Mm, I wanna get this in this area, okay, okay. All right, hang on, I have to pick what I want to work on first. And I think the answer is getting toucans. That is one of the biggest things that I have wanted to do. And we can go ahead and start putting some toucans down over here. And then once we get a little bit of them established along this area, we can start poking over to the bigger island because that is where we're going, to, or like the bigger mountain, because that is where the big trees will really be happy to grow. But I do want that little lost sparrow to finally, finally, finally have its eggs hatch and become a toucan. So let's go ahead and get another little lost sparrow blown across the seas by the winds, dashed into this tree. What will we do with you, little one? Well, this little sparrow has no idea what to do. So it will have to have its descendants adapt and survive and become a toucan. So hopefully that will go well. All right, and while he's thinking about that, what else can I evolve? Okay, you guys are done. You guys are done. Poor little baby sparrow. I wish I could help you out, buddy, but you really got to work on it. Oh, geez, and there goes another butterfly. Can the witchwood become anything? No, it cannot. 
All right. So yeah, we're keeping an eye on that baby sparrow. And then what else could I possibly bring over? There's bees. I really should get a deer and a peacock. Oh, that would be so cool. We need a duck. Okay, duck. I have some ducks. They haven't done anything yet. They, 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 the time has come, ducks. Oh my gosh, this duck is literally named Pirate. That sounds amazing. Uh, and you need to become a peacock. If it had a hive, oh, we have come full circle. I do need those bees. We needed the bees so that we can have the flowering tree evolve into a mango. Uh, and that means that we, we need bees. So we need the bees knees, my friends. Also, holy cow, there are so many butterflies already. You know what? Why am I not adding butterflies into everything? We need to fix this. <laughs> Just like sparrows need to be everywhere. Butterflies. There you go. There you go. I mean, why not? They're going to produce... They, they help the, all of the fruiting plants to produce more fruit. Why have I not done this yet? That's amazing. Hopefully the DP will go up because they have so many babies as a result too. Uh, all right, where's my little sparrow? Are you alive? You are! All right, it's flying from tree to tree. The little lost sparrow has returned. It needs to find a way to... Are, are you okay? That's a frog? Where'd my sparrow go? There it is, all right. And it is still working on becoming, uh, 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 tweaking over generations its genetics so that it can leave behind some descendants who will become toucans. Uh, let's see, what else should I do over here whilst we wait? What do water lilies survive in? They like jungle biomes! Yes! That is so cool! I didn't know if they would like jungle biomes. Uh, but this is only a little bit jungle, so I don't think they'd be very happy over here, unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, well I won't stick them over here. Um, let's see. And we could also have rabbit? Uh, and the ducks need the bees. Okay, and to get bees, we need to evolve them from butterflies. So butterflies, what do you have to say for yourselves? How do you want to become a bee? If you had a poppy to eat, then you would be content to become a bee. And now we're back to the poppies. So let's come back over. Look at this well-established grassland over here. Let's, let's, let's move some creatures over here. Uh, like a nut tree, actually. Can I convince one of my precious rare nut trees to be transplanted? Hmm. 25 and 70 meters. You really love woodland. This is woodland. This is between 25 and 75 meters. Oh, no! I didn't want to remove you! Oh, no! What have I done? Quickly, quickly, quickly. I wanted to transplant it. Jeez. That was a bad misclick. Okay, there we go. My rare nut tree should be happy over here. Uh, but the reason I came over here is I think poppies evolve from snapdragons? Buttercups? They evolve from buttercups. They evolve from red buttercups. So we need to start getting some red buttercups and I think they're very expensive. Holy cow! We've hit a wall, my friends! <laughs> we need 706 DP in order to get poppies, in order to get bees, in order to get mangoes, in order to get peacocks. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, I didn't expect that. But we have toucans! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! A little baby toucan! Oh my gosh, hello, young one! Oh, I'm so happy right now. Look at the tiny thing. Oh my gosh, we have a toucan. Can you two can? Oh my gosh. All right. Well, this is going to be really fun. Now that we have got a little two can, let's try adding in another one over here. All right. It's, it'd be happy over here as well. Hopefully that will help out with our DP. But we have now hit that question of how to increase the DP once more. Um, and I think having like huge apple orchards would be a really good one because you automatically collect five, like, um, well, you get a lot of butterflies if you have a lot. This is interesting. Hang on a second. If you have a lot of bananas, then you really start raking in the cash for 30,000 DP. I think that is actually, there's 24 carat gold. Have a rabbit eat 24 gold carrots will give you a lot. Um, and also if you get camels to spit on animals, 
<laughs> you can genetically modify them to be annoyed quicker to speed up the process. Oh my gosh, that is gonna have to happen. Um, okay, and it seems like the boars eating potatoes is a huge thing. So, I'm thinking the apples really pile up qu pretty quickly because that's amazing. Butterfly hunter is a really good one that I think is the fastest for us to get right now. But banana farmer is really where the money seems to be at. And bananas really only like to live in tropical areas above 15 meters. So where is somewhere we can make? Can we turn this into a tropical spot? Or what about up here? Can this become a banana farm? You know what? It could be a perfect oasis. This is gonna become a banana farm. We're gonna turn this into a tropical banana farm. We're gonna be banana farmers. And we can have cranky camels like over here. I love this idea. Okay guys, we're doing this. We're gonna spread some tropical goodness right over here. We're gonna get this started. I'm not messing around. Uh, and then also the leafy plants really love stones. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down some stones really quickly. Nice, nice, nice. Gonna get a few of those established. Right along the shoreline even. Some over here. We'll have some down here. This is gonna turn into a banana farm. So all of you, Yuka, thank you very much. The desert's going to be pushed back a little bit to these edges. And then we're gonna put down a bunch of stones. The Yuka hate the stones, actually. They will leave the area like immediately. Did you see them die off that quickly? All right, we're gonna turn this into a banana farm. This is how we're gonna do it because we have to get poppies. And until we have fields of poppies so that we can hopefully have bees, we are in trouble. We really can't do much, my friends. Uh, my hands are kind of tied. We need some tropical flowers stacked to spread. I kind of want to bring over just the purple tropical flowers. Let me go ahead and grab them to imagine that they... Oh, they're way too expensive to transplant. <laughs> to imagine that they bring with them the hill blooms and we could have a little hill of hill blooms because I think that would be quite romantic. Uh, there we go. And they will hopefully help to spread everything. But this is gonna be it. This is gonna be where the banana farm will be. We will generate that DP nonstop. I don't even know who's going to eat the bananas. Like, we need to have some sort of like maybe a toucan, a really happy toucan who lives on the edge of the desert will eat all of the bananas. But, all right, this is definitely still quite the mess. We still have some of our precious trees. <gasps> Look at that, and we have birds nesting in the cherry blossoms here. Oh, this is so beautiful. We still have our wolves, I believe. Yep, our wolf population is still doing well. Look at that. Our fox population is still doing well. The chicken valley is still doing well. We have quite a bit going on. Tata's, uh, Tata's footprints, which are now the names of these jungle mushrooms, are really hanging on here for dear life. I need to get more of a jungle established over here. But we've got all of our little projects up and going. And the Tugan has taken flight, my friends. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. The toucan is just flying through the air. Oh my goodness, is that a baby? It's a baby sparrow nest. What? I wonder if it's it's like there are some sparrows. The this like the early uh, ancestors of these toucans. That is so sweet. But all right, so I think my next goal, as I put my hands on my hips and think about how we're gonna do this, is to try to get up to uh, like. 50,000 DP per minute, and also consider how we can get the banana farm really up and going. I think a banana farm and more apple orchards, uh, and more butterflies with more frogs near them. So if frogs would be equally happy over here, then we're gonna start having frogs show up along this side. We have plenty of butterflies. We need some frogs to eat them. Would you be happy over here, little frog? It would not be happy over here, but would a toad be happy over here? Well, it must be placed on dry land. It wouldn't be very happy, but I mean, in a pinch, in a pinch, the frog would actually be happier. I think it just needs more of its liked species nearby. 
which means some mushrooms, which I can totally manage. So, all right, there we go, guys. I'm excited. We're gonna become banana farmers. <laughs> we have uh, two cans. We have a new goal, banana farm. And I will see you guys next time. If you guys would like, do please leave a like to celebrate our wonderful toucan's arrival here in the jungle. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing and I will see you all next time. Bye bye